Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a get ready with me and we are trying out a bunch of new products. I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek as to what we are using today. I've got the new Milk Primer. I have a bunch of things from Smith & Colt from their foundation. I have some eyes. I have some NARS eye products as well as Tatcha, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this really weird foaming product. Primer. I just I have all the things I'm finally going to talk about the powders that I have been testing out from Decorte So if you want to see how I created this look and how everything worked out Just keep watching the first thing I'm going to do is go in and prime my skin I have two different primers here this one right here from milk. This was sent to me It is the hydro grip primer. I'm going to use that on this side of my face and then I purchased from Ulta because Ulta I think just got this line Smith & Colt. This is the untouched skin brightening foaming primer and I have not used either one of these so we are going to see how it works. So I'm going to take the Hydra primer from Milk and I'm going to take one pump and apply it to this side. The milk one definitely feels very hydrating. It feels nice on the skin. And I feel like it has a little bit of tackiness to it. Now I'm gonna go in with this one from Smith & Colt. I bought this at Ulta. I think the line is now new to Ulta, but Smith & Colt has been around for a little while. Um, this is the Untouched Skin Brightening Foaming Primer. And I have not used this. I'm gonna shake it up. I'm scared of what's gonna happen when I do this. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. So it's definitely foamy. Let's see. I don't know if I got too much. Oh, it's like I can hear it popping and bubbling. I think I got too much, so I'm going to wipe some on the towel. Normally, I wouldn't use primers under a new foundation that I'm about to use, but I have two different primers and I really wanted to use them, so yeah. I'll just keep you updated on the foundation. This one has a little bit more of a scent to it. Okay, now that both have set up a little bit, I feel like this one's definitely more hydrating, but they both have a little bit of tackiness to them to grip onto the foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with my normal primers for my pores, which is MAC Skin Refine Zone and Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation, and again, this is from Smith & Colt. It's like the brand just dropped a bunch of stuff on Ulta, and I grabbed quite a few things. This is called the Veiled Threat Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. The shade that I grabbed is number 160 Neutral, and it seems to be pretty perfect. And so far, it's going on top of that Milk Primer really well. It's also going on top of the Smith & Colt primer really well, which I would expect because they're from the same brand. Usually things, when they're from the same brand, they usually work and mesh well together. For concealer, I'm going in with a new one from e.l.f. I've heard everybody talking about this, so I had to find out for myself. And this is the 16-hour camo concealer, and I have the shade Medium Peach. When I went to the store, they didn't have very many shades, but it seemed like this one might work, so let's cross our fingers. It is thick, let me tell you that much. Blends out nicely though. I will say though that medium peach definitely looks like a vanilla <laughs> or like a, just a fair shade. It doesn't, medium peach I think sounds misleading because it's not peachy at all. It's pretty neutral to almost white, <laughs> but it looks good with my complexion, I think. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bake using my Huda Beauty Powder. 
The shade I use is Pound Cake, and I've gotten a lot of questions, people asking why it looks like I don't bring my powder upwards. It's because I put the majority of my powder down below first because that's where like my pores are my biggest issue. So I want them to really bake. And then I bake my nose, I bake my chin, and then I like to take the excess up. I do not like for there to be like real bakeage going on right here. And I mean, I'm gonna end up putting shadows there anyway, so. I don't put a lot of powder up there. Now I have two brand new powders from Decorte. I found these on the Saks website. This is a brand I have never used before and they seem to have two different types. I have number 00 translucent, which is what I'm going to use to set my face. And then I'm going to use the number 11 Illuminary Ivory to buff. So. I have been testing these out and you guys have been asking me, when are you gonna show the powder? I'm gonna show it today. <laughs> but this is, it's beautiful, you guys. It's really beautiful. But I'm gonna use the translucent to set my face. Royal and Lang Nickel BOM 130. It's kind of like the Hourglass powder, but I feel like this one, I don't feel, you can probably see, I don't know if you can see, it does lighten up my foundation just a little bit, but I use less of this powder when setting my face. I know it looks like I use a whole ton because it goes everywhere, but I use less than normal. And it just has the most beautiful finish to it. Like I'm in love with this powder. And they do have different colors, so I don't think I'll be able to use translucent during the summer. <laughs> But at the same time, it does sink into the skin and you won't get like that white cast after you spray your skin. So it just depends. I'm gonna have to check it out, but I think I'm gonna have to get a little bit of a deeper shade for the, wi the winter time, the summertime. Go ahead, dust off my bake. Sadly, I don't have a new bronzer to use for you guys, but I feel like I need to kill this the rest of the way off anyway. And this is the Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder in the shade number light, or number one light. And I'm gonna use my Esum X51 and kind of dig around the edges. I'm gonna go ahead and just reorder another one of these today because I love this. I love the color of it, everything. So yeah, I went through this incredibly, incredibly quickly. But you guys have to keep in mind that sometimes there's times where I may, I do my makeup twice, sometimes three times a day, but three times is very rare. But if I'm going to go out and I, you know, I've done a really bright eye, I don't necessarily want to go out with a pink smoky eye, you know, I want to take that off, so I redo my makeup. Um, but yeah, I've gone through this pretty quickly and I love it. I just absolutely love it. I think the color is beautiful. I think it blends out nice. I love it with this brush. This Esom brush is so flipping good. But yeah, today we're ordering another one of these. I hate it when you have to start digging around the edges because then things start to break. And my carpet is white. I know that, that was a really stupid decision on my part, but I just wanted the white carpet. And it's filthy dirty anyway, but I'm like, I don't want to step on broken bronzer in my white carpet, but whatever. I mean, look at that. It just blends out like a flipping dream. And the color is just so good. I love this stuff. Clearly. <laughs> Moving on to blush, I have this beautiful little package right here from Pure. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. I got this from Ulta. I just went on this Ulta spree one day. <laughs> this is called Out of the Blue Light Up Vanity Blush Palette in Beam of Light. And as you can see, it's got like these little beams across and on the inside that is what it looks like and to apply that blush I'm going to be using this new brush <laughs> ask me how many times I just had to say that from Beautylish this is the lunar year brush and it's got tiny little pigs on there it's so freaking cute and then on the moon and stars and it's ridiculously soft so I'm gonna try this blush okay 
I'm going to try this brush out with the blush, okay? I'm just gonna swirl all together in here and tap off the excess because I have no idea how pigmented this is. It definitely has a, like it has a highlighter glow to it all by itself. And this brush is ridiculously soft. I just got this beauty in the mail from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it contains their new loose highlighters. We have the shade Snowflake right here. I think I'm going to use that one, but we're not sure. And then we have So Hollywood, as well as Sunset Aura. Um, Like I said, I, I don't know, let me swatch these. So here's Snowflake. Soul Hollywood and then Sunset Aura. I am definitely gonna go in with Snowflake just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna take my Sonia G Fan Pro and just kind of dip into this and go in. If you use these wet or applied it on wet skin, like you just sprayed your face, these would be super duper intense, but I don't want that much glow like this looks really nice to me i don't really want more than that today because i'm also going to be putting glitter on my eyes that is it wet so in case anybody was curious it's really bright if you want to use it wet now for my favorite part of my makeup routine i'm going to go in and i'm going to buff now this is the other decorte powder that i was talking about in the shade luminous ivory again they have other shades and this is pretty light so if you're darker than me don't do it not luminous ivory go with another shade my favorite brush to add this one on has definitely been the one from sonia g the face pro i just get a little bit on my brush go in oh and this powder does have a smell i'm not sure if i mentioned that earlier but it does have a smell but it smells good Now moving on to the eyes, I picked up this new palette called Nectar from NARS and I'm telling you there is a theme with these peachy shades so this might look a little bit redundant so I apologize for that. I didn't think they were going to be that close to like the Anastasia palette and the Viseart palette but I have glitter to put on top and before I move on to this I have to tell you that you need to take off the top coat because on this is from Smith & Colt. What is this called? Glitter Shot All Over Glitter Crush Iridescent. I don't think this is eye safe, so do this at your own risk. <laughs> but there's a top layer that has more of those like bigger chunks that are square. You basically need to take those off to get to the part that's more like adhesive. So just FYI. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in and we're going to start on the eye look. Sonia G Crease 2 and I'm starting off with the very first shade in the palette. If you notice that my eyes are just like a little bit pink, that is from the pink shadow that I did with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It stained my eyes just a little bit. So yeah, that's what that's from. But I'm just taking this on the outer corner and buffing this upward mainly out here and then I'm going to drag it into the crease in the front just a little bit but not as much as I want it on the back end. MAC 221 I'm just taking a little bit of that shade right along the lower lash line. Same brush middle shade bottom row to deepen up the outer half of the lid with this and then bring it upward onto the outer part of the transition area outer V area right here now I'm gonna bring this shade all the way into the crease in the front part then I'm gonna deepen up the outer V add a little bit of depth with the very first shade in the last row just putting this right on the outer corner smoking it up just a little bit but I'm not gonna bring it into the crease area just right out here
Brow Arch, second shade in the palette on a MAC 242. Now let's see how this glitter works. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a Weva 234. It is synthetic, I think I am natural hair mixed. And I'm not using this wet, I'm just using the brush. But I am gonna layer it up just a little bit. I finished off the eye look using Milk Boss Liner to the top and a rim and mascara as usual. And then I went in with a lip pencil that I already had in my collection, Spice from MAC. And now I'm gonna go in with a new lipstick from Tatcha. This is the shade Peony Blossom, and this is what it looks like. I have not used this yet. I almost just didn't want to mess up the bullet. They sent this to me, and I was like, oh, it's just too pretty. But let's go ahead and see what it looks like with Spice Liner from MAC. All right, you guys, that is it. This is the finished look. So now I'm gonna go through and tell you guys what my thoughts are on the products. Starting off with the two primers, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, I definitely felt was more moisturizing. So if you are a dry gal and you want to have a primer that's actually going to hold on to your makeup, because this definitely has like a little bit of that tackiness that's going to hold on to your makeup, I do like this. I like the way it feels on my skin and everything. This one is not as hydrating, it's a little bit more on the I feel like it's kind of blurring it says brightening and I can see that when I put it on my hand but I don't see it as much on my face but I feel like it blurs out the skin very nicely and I think both of the primers look really good underneath the foundation I don't necessarily prefer one side versus the other I don't know I might actually like this side just a little bit more because it looks Mm, just slightly more hydrated, but really, unless you were looking for it, I don't think you'd be able to spot the difference. For the Smith & Colt foundation, so far, beautiful. I am using primers today. I'm gonna have to continue to use this without primers and see how I like it. But again, this is the Veiled Threat Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. I picked out the perfect color. I'm so proud of myself. But it feels nice on the skin. I like the coverage that you get. It's just a really beautiful foundation, first impressions. The Decorte powders. I love these. Dare I say that the translucent version, I might actually like more than the Hourglass, um, but that's for setting. I don't really use this one for buffing. I love using the Hourglass Veil for buffing, but I really have been enjoying this one for setting because it gives you a glow, but it doesn't make you look like it doesn't accentuate things on my skin and I just think it's really micro fine blurring it's beautiful I love this but I would definitely suggest a different color if you're any darker than me I'm like about an NC I'm in between really an NC 15 and an NC 20 um, but if I was going to pick one it would be an NC 20 now the other one is the illuminate illuminary Ivory, the shade number 11. Again, they do have different shades. I have been using this the most for buffing out everything. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Both of these are radiant powders. I wouldn't suggest the, <laughs> I want to say illuminating ivory, but it's luminary ivory. I wouldn't really suggest this to set makeup. I think it's just a little bit too illuminating, especially if you have pores or anything like that. But how I have been using them, I am in love with these, and this is a full-on review just because I have been using these quite a bit. This is not a first impressions. I'm so glad that I picked both of these up, and I'm probably going to pick up another color or two just to see the differences and see if, you know, maybe I need to try something else for the summertime, which is right around the corner. Now this blush from Pure. I personally like it. I think that if I was having like a bad skin day, if I was dry, if I was like, if I had like a pimple or something, I wouldn't like this. 
on my cheeks because it is very illuminating. I do like the color though, and I was able to, after I buffed everything out, everything worked out really nicely. But if you like illuminating blushes, this is stunning. It's really pretty, just mixed all together. And then if you don't want as much of the illuminating factor, you can just go in with the other two by themselves, kind of dip back and forth. But I personally like this, and I'm kind of picky when it comes to illuminating blushes because I do have pores and a little bit of texture on my skin so I don't like to really exaggerate them. For the eyes, NARS has really upped their game with the formula of their shadows. They recently redid their whole line and I really like the new formula. These blend out beautifully. I like the colors in here. Yes, it's definitely not anything new, but if you're looking for something pocket size with these tones in them, I really like this. And I like that it's not too orange. It still leans more on the peachy side, hence the name Nectar. I really, I'm going to be having all the peaches, <laughs> not actual peaches, but peachy colors during the summer. I just love them. And then this on top. So I have mixed feelings. I recently reviewed or used the pick little glitters and I feel like those adhered really well and this did adhere but the problem is I feel like it's a little bit not greasy but a little bit more slip to it than what the pixie ones have now granted this is I don't think this is necessarily meant for your eyes so that could be the reason behind it but overall I do like the way that it looks on my eyes I think it's so pretty it is a little bit more chunky so if you don't like chunky you're not going to like this and I wouldn't recommend really swiping this around because it's going to move whatever it is underneath it now granted today I didn't really have a lot on my inner corner so it didn't matter but over here I had to play with it a little bit because it even lifted up my concealer just a tiny bit so this is an, an in-between I think it's beautiful to look at I'm gonna have to get used to using it but I like the color and I actually do like that little bit of chunkiness because I like textures especially on the eyes I think it's stunning C color and whatnot I love it that iridescent I'm all about iridescent things right now I want iridescent purses I want iridescent makeup holders I want iridescent <laughs> phone cases just everything so this is really pretty but if I was going to pick this or say like the Lemonhead or the Pixie, I would go with Lemonhead or Pixie before I would with a Smith & Colt, but I don't think that this is bad. The brush from Beautylish, A, eh? it's, it's so cute. I just, I really like the little piggies on this and I'm not into the whole Lunar New Year thing. It's not like something that I get excited about, but something about this brush just made me happy and it's Japanese made. I think it is so soft, it blends out really well. I like the brush and I I'm happy that I bought it, but I know it's a little bit up there in price, so it's not a necessity, but it's a nice to have. For the e.l.f. concealer, I almost completely forgot this, but I wanted to tell you guys that this is probably the closest dupe that I have ever found to the Tarte Shape Tape. Now, I don't like the Tarte Shape Tape, but this is a close dupe for it. It's got great coverage. It's a matte finish. It's smooth, but I don't think it's something that I'm going to keep reaching for. However, if you like that kind of finish, I think that you will like this concealer. And then the last thing I used is this little beauty from Tatcha. The packaging on this is so heavy and luxe. It feels like a weight in your hand. And I personally like that because I feel like it feels luxurious and the formula I love it's got pigmentation it has a little bit of shine without it being like slippery slidey all over your lips and I do think that it paired very well with spice lip liner but I think that's it is that it I didn't use anything else I don't think oh wait no, yes I did <laughs> I used this from Anastasia this is the loose highlighter Personally, I think it's pretty. Don't get me wrong, I think it's pretty, I think it's nice, but I prefer pressed highlighters in general. If you're somebody who likes loose highlighters, you might like this. I don't dislike it, but I don't prefer it either. I'm gonna have to play around with it just a little bit more. I think it's pretty. You know I'd rather reach for the Amri Z Anastasia highlighter, but that is just a matter of personal opinion. I do think that you can make these blinding like I showed you with it wet. It is really intense, but I just, I didn't wanna be that intense today. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the product 
products that I used. Are you picking anything up? Did you not like something? Let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.